What's up guys, it's me Nikki Bra. Welcome to the Braslav Lakes National Park. Let me take you with me on a nice trip into nature. We will go fishing, we will go quad driving, we will go on a safari. Uh, time to get out of the city, enjoy very nice food. And uh, this is the first Nikki vlog basically from nature. And uh, this will be a long video uh, where we'll take you away for a couple of days uh, into the nature and uh, we will enjoy for sure the good times here. It's uh, one of my favorite places here in Belarus. It's a very famous national park. Um, lots of people from all around the world come here because of nature, because of hunting, because of fishing. And um, yeah, just look at this nature. It's just beautiful. Okay, cameraman, you just hop, uh, hop uh, back on here and uh, we will go and check the lake. Come here. Okay, now we will go check the lake. Hey guys, let's check, come with me, Braslav Lakes, paradise for fishing and hunting, uh, sometimes you need to get away from the city to relax, to clear your mind basically, to get creative, to get closer to nature. So you get new ideas, new energy when you come back to the city. It's always necessary. And uh, I'm very happy that I can take you here on this small trip so we can get uh, to know each other a little bit better, you know? Because I don't want to do just, oh, you don't have to do this, please do this, blah, blah, blah. But I also want to make some videos where you can just relax and just enjoy so let's see here we have the Braslav lakes the infamous ones and this is where we are going to stay and this is where i i come here many many times one of my favorite places in belarus and uh, just look at this beauty this is uh this is just beautiful So these are the Braslav Lakes, uh, welcome to the special place, check it out on the Google Maps uh, so you know where the location is, where we are at and uh, yeah, I'm very happy that uh, this is uh, practically the first place of many 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 more to come but this is a very very special place for me and I'm glad that uh, I can take you uh, with me on this trip here in uh, Belarus, Braslav National Park. Just look at this beauty. I will show you how to fish. I will show you wild animals. I will show you extremely uh, nice foods and how to cook and how to prepare certain things and just beautiful nature. And uh, we can have some cool talks, I hope. And um, yeah, this was uh, the intro from me, Nikki Bra. Welcome to the Braslav Lakes, Nikki Vlog. Look at this, just insane, insane, my friend. Начинается наш процесс. Это А это что? Это сало. Сало? А, а. Как наркотик упакован. Да, так оно и есть наркотик. Что, уже надо? Я бы сказал, вы пакаете вы наркотик. Я бы сказал, что это наркотик. Да, да, да. Доехали хорошо? 
Кордов. Домчались. Никита сегодня у нас водителем был. Поэтому несся так, что. Ух! Так, все очень просто. Теперь каждый берет рюмочку. Сейчас я засниму mm -hmm. это историческое событие. Как каждый берет рюмочку. Каждый берет рюмочку. Не-не-не, можно это сейчас произнести? Отдельно. Отдельно. Так, ну. Повтор. Каждый Давай берет я. рюмочку. Да, сам. Okay. Это местный напиток. Не-не, погоди, тогда сейчас зам. Да. Теперь я точно возьму рюмочку. Не. Каждый берет рюмочку. Это местный напиток. Ну что, с приездом вас, господа. Мы рады вас видеть на Братловской земле. Да. Ну, Осторовью. будем. Ой. М -м. Дай бог не пошли. Сало кусочек. Конечно. Сало. Они Сало. Уже на хлеб. Они в Никомаровском сало накупили. Понятно. Но это Забили пусть... весь холодильник. Наша проба. И три раза в день едят его. Да. Угу. Огурчик, угу. хлеб. Хорошо, другая модель. Это другая модель. This is homemade uh, alcohol. Честно, честно. Расскажите, как из а вот чего это делается? Это хреновая. Давай мне конфеты. Мастер. 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 Шнапс. Да. Пророщенное зерно. Я держу руку, чтобы на голову Делается шнапс. Да. Два раза да, прочищается. Да. А потом настаивается на хрена, на корне хрена. Вот этот морс. Это их морозят сначала ягоды ягоды замораживают а потом их толкут все ага. точно надо ну, толкут знаю. в воде кипяток доливает и он настаивается и вытяжка вся из ягод идет в кипяток ну это дикая ягода да, вот так вот, извините, раз, да. А сейчас нам блинчик, по блинчику дадут. Я, 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 я вот морс понимаю, как пить вместо воды, я вот вино. They gather the cranberries in the forest, they freeze it, and then they unfreeze it by heating it up, and it soaks in all the, all the flavor into the water, so it's very, very interesting. It looks like a sugary drink, but it's actually not sugary at all. Не, вот это за то, что говорит. No, you're just usually used when you when you get this from a supermarket. Ah, it's, it's, it's added added sugar. Here you have this natural flavor. Of the, ah. It's also wild cranberries. So they gather it here just right here in the forest. Давай вот сюда. Вот сюда, вот сюда. Okay guys, now we will make the homemade fish soup. This is the fish broth, it's all ready. Uh, the fish head soaked in, the fish bones soaked in there. Here are fresh vegetable also from this region here. Everything is homemade, everything you see is homemade. And now we will make what's called ucha, this Russian fish soup, all with homemade products. And it's uh, obviously very nutritious, very easy to absorb because all the fat and nutrients they soaked in into the liquid and the liquid is very easy to absorb for a digestive tract. So it's very, very nutritious, very, very easy on the digestive tract and it tastes obviously phenomenal, phenomenal it taste, it's homemade. It's too bad, it's impossible to translate this into the camera for you because uh, it's just phenomenal. But uh, I will show you the process nonetheless how it's done. This is the broth. We have the veggies. We have several different ingredients. Also fresh fish we caught yesterday. We will put inside and then it will come here into our, you know, into our uh, cooking pot. And where you may ask where you got the fish from, obviously not from the supermarket. Look at this. There in the morning, there we are standing and fishing 
for uh, for our meals and then we cook our fresh self-caught meals Нет, я уже тысячу раз сделал. Это уже 5867 раз приготовление великим мастером уховаром. Уховаром. Он даже в Японии уховарил тоже. Уховар это целое сербское название или какое-то. Сейчас я вам покажу здесь. Мы пошли по короткому варианту. Мастер не стал это нарезать. Да, 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 да. Мастер кофку первый. Okay guys, now after I added veggies, the bouillon, the broth, now it's already been cooking for 20 minutes. Look at this. It smells nice. Next up we add some salt. Then we add the, some grains to it, those Russian grains. Next up, we add some fish. This is pike, fresh caught pike. We made it into, so it's like uh, this consistency, this texture. So it dissolves perfectly in the soup. It's very, very soft now. There we go. This is bass, sea bass also, self-caught. And this is how we do it. Now we close and let it simmer for again 30 more minutes. And then we are ready nearly ready with the Russian Ucha soup. Extremely high quality, made by Niki Bra. See you in, when I show you the next step. Now we add some garlic. Also, every, every ingredient we're using here is all homegrown. It's not from the supermarket. It's all self-made or from the farms nearby. And now we add the garlic. Excellent. Now we check the soup. It's already cooking. This is the Russian Ucha made by Nikibra officially. Now we add it here. We don't need to stir anything up because when it's cooking, it automatically stirs up all the food, all the ingredients. This is how we do quality food. Beautiful. This is how we do it. Next up, we have some secret ingredients. I will show you when I'm ready for the next step. Okay, guys, now we have to check whether everything is on track. Uh, a small broth check, basically. So we know we are just on track. Look, everything is still cooking. Cooking for around about one hour already. Okay, now we add. And just check we have enough salt, enough garlic. Garlic is good. We need to add a little bit more salt. 
this a bit. And that's it. Now it's perfect. Sometimes you have to adjust mid process because natural product is always a little bit different because you catch some fish and the next fish is already a little bit different. Homegrown food. You have a tomato, the next tomato you, you grow is a little bit different. There's no standard, it's a natural product. So when we do something like a soup with many, many, many natural ingredients, homegrown or from nearby farms, you need to adjust during the process. You need to check, analyze and adjust. So you get the perfect result. Same principle everywhere in life. As you go ahead, you need to adjust mid process. Okay guys, final steps for the fish soup. Let me show you. Okay, very, very careful. It's extremely hot. This is why we are lifting in the gym to make the fish soup. Okay. Now we add some greens. Ah, just like this. I think Salt Bay can relax, to be honest, because uh, this is just a next level, you know? Okay, guys. Now look, very important. Most important step is last step. Now, this is fish soup. This is not Russian fish soup. We need Russian fish soup, Ucha. Most important step. This is the big difference. Ucha is the Russian fish soup. It's not normal fish soup. We add secret ingredients. Just like this. Now, my friend, this is Russian fish soup. We add a little bit vodka. That's how we do. Ucha, 100%. Now we made a Russian fish soup, secret recipe, don't share on the internet, Shh. secret Russian mucha. Okay. Belarus engineering. Engineering. <laughs> Все, наливаем. Да, надо садиться. Это потом досыпать. And it's finished. That's it. Very Вика easy. Лимоны. Okay, guys. The уха is finished. Check it out. I show you the texture of it. Very, very dense. Look. Ah, this is nice, huh? This is beautiful. This is life. Okay. Cameraman gets first because he worked the hardest. Cameraman work the hardest, my friend. Okay, this is beautiful. Niki bra uha. Guys, request that chef cook needs to put a little bit pepper into the uha. Little bit. Is good? Just a little bit. Now cameraman Nathanael, Nate Bra will try the Nikki Brauha. Uh, with pieces or just Try the with the fish and the fish. exactly and with the liquid. Fish is good. Try uh, the broth and then you know with the sticky lip tactic. What I told you, if the lips are sticky, then it's very high quality. Need to be sticky lips because of the good fats. Sticky, yes. sticky, lips, sticky lips. That's what we're talking about now. 
as a main course we made moose steaks we hunted them one month ago now they're ready ready to go they had to age a little bit and today after one month they are ready to eat so aged high quality self-hunted products look at this beauty look at this beauty here now this is real food this is pure health you could say look at this cycle of life that's true okay guys now we are preparing for the fishing chairs are here beautiful nature is here now we have to fill this up with water so when we catch the fish we put the fish inside so it lives on so when we prepare a dish with the fish it's very very fresh so this is what i'm going to do now Okay, now when we catch the fish, we can put it inside and we keep it as fresh as possible. And let me show you what's our bait. This is our bait. Worms or whatever you call it in English. Okay guys, I have a fish, now let's check, or not, or yes. Yeah, it's quite a big one. This is a sea bus. Not bad. Sorry vegans, but this is how you get, you know, this is how you get your meals. We will uh, cook some nice soup with it and I will show you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. We put it here into the bucket and the bucket's already full as you can see. And we don't even need to recharge the worms because they're still here. How we do it, we pull back just like that and now next round wash out and let's go we pull back now we wait here in this area you only need three things the next supermarket is 50 kilometers from here you need toilet paper you need ammunition and you need a lighter, that's what you need the supermarket for. The rest you can get from the river, you can get from the forest, you can collect mushrooms, berries. The fish obviously you get from the river, from the lake. And wild animals you get from the forest. You can get deer, you can get geese, you can get moose, boar, everything fresh. You collect it yourself and the quality is extremely nice that's how we do it we have to earn the meals that's how we do it okay guys there's the next one but it's a pretty small one but the small ones are the best for the soups C 
Спасибо. И не наливает, да? Okay, guys. Now we have moose, moose carpaccio. Look at this. Look at this quality. It's wild moose carpaccio. Taste. Mm, excellent. Testosterone. This is what we caught today. This is dinner. Just fresh fish put in the pan with some butter. You don't need to do anything. You can just pick. Look, just for you guys. You pick one fish just like this. Everything's still inside. Organs, eyes, brain, liver, everything. You just do like this. Ah. That's it. It's gone. Mm. You can't believe how tasty this is. And that's it. You only need fresh fish and the butter. And that's it. It's really good. Okay guys, now we are going to a spot where we can check out all the beautiful lakes where we fish and hunt. So like uh, the highest point here in this area and you will see the beautiful nature here of the Braslav lakes and the national park here that's where we are going the fresh air here is incredible no plastic no trash so this is why we come here often from the city to enjoy the sunshine to enjoy the fresh air because it's obviously very very good for your health uh, when you're sitting in the city, all the 
electro smoke Wi-Fi connections around you all the cars with the exhausts uh, all the work, all the computers, all the Excel sheets all the statistics sometimes your soul just needs the proper nature that's why we come here like I said it's quality wise one of the best national parks in the world Americans, Canadians, New Zealand, Australians they all come here to hunt because of the restrictions they are very very everything is very very regulated here um, and controlled and well respected so local hunters, foreign hunters, fishermen locals they they respect the rules no trash uh, so now we will check out the beautiful site on top it's called mountain mayak which means in english mountain lighthouse let's hope it's uh, yeah it's possible to enter check out on the right this just I saw came out of the trash bin we have to fix this guys this came from there we won't allow this especially white chocolate I mean Come on, you're here in a national park, you're eating the freshest fish and meat. Why would you eat strawberry white chocolate? No, 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 wait. Give me. Okay. Check out the beautiful nature, incredible. Let's go on top. He's not. <laughs> Look at this beauty, you guys. Beautiful nature, incredible. No people except us. This is where we are staying over there. This is our territory. Here we will catch all the fish. There we will hunt all the deer. Moose, ducks, geese, whatever we're getting, we're getting. It's early in the morning, I've been fishing in the night and I will show you the results. So today I already caught uh, for our uh, well evening meal, I will show you. It's pretty heavy, I think I caught around 10 kilogram of fish. Um, at night you can uh, catch way more fish and way bigger fish than they are active um, when we were fishing yesterday uh, well in the middle of the day we caught just like small and medium fish but at night this is where you can get the trophy fish and uh, let's check it out we have uh, a real big one here look at this pretty big then next up well I caught uh, several different ones looks like a tiger I don't know the English name for it but maybe some of you know what's the name in English I only know the Russian names then I caught some pikes this is uh, we make pike cutlet from them here and uh, more pikes so yeah lots of different fishies some of them very big like this one I think this should weigh around like let's check uh, I think around about 3 kilogram for sure I will show you what I used 
uh, to catch it. Some of them I caught with normal fishing rod. Uh, for example, uh, the medium ones. But at night I use the harpoon. So you go into a thermal costume. This you put on so you can uh, you get uh, dragged uh, more to the bottom and you use the harpoon to to kill the fish and this is uh, this is where I was in the night basically like a Greek god with the harpoon you know it's very cold it's very tiring but you know as you can see 10 kilograms of fish you don't need to go to the supermarket uh, you just get some fresh fish yourself. Let's check again. So big ones, for example, the spike is really good. Here you can see the harpoon where it went inside. Yeah, so this is today's uh, hunt. Lasted round about two and a half hours, so a good catch today for sure, but very very cold and very very tiring, but you know, supermarket, going to the supermarket is a bit easier, you know, but this is for free, and this is more exciting, and this is for sure fresher, this we will clean now, and uh, well, make some fish dishes out of it. Las Vegas. Так. Ага. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Не, сейчас у него получится, получится, все нормально, Никита. Вот от, отсюда получится. Давай, кидай, что ты? Давай проскочит, сейчас я тебе говорю, проскочит, давай. Вот, давай, давай, давай. О. Отдай ему, слышишь, если ему спину за сандаль. За сандаль классно будет. А, смотри, по часам бы, давай, Никита. Давай, как Джордан, давай, ну давай, давай. Погнал. Чу. Guys, now we have wolves, wild wolves. Look at this beauty. They're already seeing the meat. Look, 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 look. They know what's coming. Give me some. Very aggressive. When they saw meat, everything changed in their face. Так, так, так. Трехочковка пошла. 
Last one. Хороший будет момент. Давай посидим а куда. Да можно посидеть? What's up guys? I'm working a little bit. Uh, answering client emails and questions. And um, always in the evening, in the morning, I answer all the questions. I'm doing uh, client checkups. And um, even though I am in, in the wild, in the nature, no matter where I am in the world, there are no rest days. I always answer questions same day. So I have to put in some work no matter what. Even if it's just an easy day, I am answering so many questions every day. And I make sure that all my client questions are answered same day. Because if there is a problem for someone... Um, Maybe it's a critical question or critical problem that needs to be answered same day. <clears throat> That's why I cannot afford to, well, answer a question after a couple of days. I make sure that all the questions my clients, brothers and sisters have, that they, they are answered same day. Uh, well, here is the fish uh, I caught at night with the harpoon. Um... We put it inside in, uh, in the pan with some butter and it's very, very delicious. Unfortunately, you cannot taste through the cam, but uh, trust me, such high quality fresh fish basically came just out of the lake, just out of this river. You can, take, uh, you can taste uh, the difference to like fancy restaurant fish or supermarket quality or whatever. There's such a huge difference in taste and the texture and um, quality. It's uh, extremely nice and um, yeah, I will show you more in the future. Okay guys, now I will start my weekly live call. In, we have one live call in English and one live call in German. And uh, now it's Thursday and it's English live call time. Let's start. Usually it takes around two to three hours. Per life call. What's up guys? Welcome to the English live call on a Thursday as always. I'm here at the national park again. I made some great videos and uh, probably next week uh, I will upload them. But yes, yeah, always we start. If you have a question, uh, write uh, I have a question into the chat. So we start right away and don't be shy. Okay, first question. Our friend Joe. What's up, Joe? What up, bro? Not much. Feeling feeling good right now, so hopefully it continues. I'm glad you're feeling better, so Yeah, we'll we'll see. But um Alright, first question. I was wondering if you get up I don't know, I set an alarm for eight hours trying to sleep, you know, seven to eight like you said. Mm -hmm. What happens if you wake up naturally a little earlier? Is it better to go back to bed for an hour or should you just start with your day? No, you, sh you start the day for sure. No need to uh, go back to sleep. So if you naturally wake up prior to your alarm, there's no reason to stay in bed. You just wake up and uh, get going with the day basically. You start the day. Oh. You know oh. what I mean? So the process of fermentation takes away the oh. sugar, but in proportion, um, it's not that much and it's hard to measure, you know, it's hard to, because it's a natural, it's a natural process. It's hard to control. You cannot say, okay, seven degrees of fermentation takes away this much sugar. It's hard to say it re really depends. So just not yeah. over complicating things. You just take the, the, um, the nutritional values from the milk you're using. Okay. Perfect. 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 That's it for me. So. Perfect job. Thank you. 
uh, get well and if there are problems still with the Thanks. stomach uh, you message me anytime as always will do yeah appreciate it perfect even though even though uh, you're like uh, sick this week i checked the pictures just like insane progress like uh, it's mind-blowing mm -hmm. mind-blowing <laughs> It's I leaned out from all the fasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Now we can see like when you leaned out and lost some water because of the food poisoning, we could see like the high quality of the muscle right away. I was really, really impressed. Nice. It's good to hear. Yeah. Very, Thanks, very good sweet. job. Thank you. Excellent. But now relax and get well for sure. Yeah. Will do. Perfect job. Thanks, bro. Okay. Next up we have... Um, Matthias, if Gabriel has a question, let me know, then you're second. Uh, but uh, Matthias uh, is next, up next. If you have a question, just write question. That's easier for me to understand when there's a question. Okay, Matthias, up next. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Matthias. Hey, um, I also have a sweet question. Um, mm -hmm. So we talked about napping a bit. 